This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. What's up, what's up? Real MVPs, Ricky Weaver here, along with fellow man-child, Johnny Carlick. Whoop, 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 whoop. I put a little, uh, little je ne sais quoi on the, uh, on the J there, a little Johnny. I, I don't, don't appreciate a soft J. Johnny. Right. Instead of Johnny, it's Johnny. Yogging. Johnny, or Yanni Carlick. <laughs> Talking with Yanni Carlick It's Carlick with a today. soft J. <laughs> I'm, I'm going yogging later. Yeah, yogging. But welcome into the Rick and Johnny podcast, where... This is the podcast where we talk about entertainment news, TV, movies, basically anything under the two nerdy suns is what we look at. And boy, do we have a jam-packed show today, Johnny, talking about a little bit of the Oscars, something that we usually don't do, but I feel no, yeah, like we true. have to. So um, it pertains this time. Black Panther is nominated for Best Picture, so can, like round of applause all around for... Black Panther being nominated, but we're going to talk about could Black Panther actually win Best Picture? Because there's some people that might believe that it should, but will it actually be the Best Picture at the Oscars this year? We're going to look at Avengers Endgame again because we're basically in that routine of like we're, what, four months away? Um, almost three months away from Endgame um, mm-hmm. until we all cry um, really hard because Game of Thrones and Endgame are going to be pulling us in two different directions. And then we're going oh, no, to look same at, direction. And then we're going to be looking at a topic that I am very excited for. We're going to take a look at Alita Battle Angel, a movie that I'm excited for, comes out in two weeks. How successful will it actually be, or how successful will it be, is what we'll look at to wrap everything up. Before we get into everything, I'm going to pitch our iTunes review. Make sure to, if you're listening to us on iTunes, if you have an iTunes or Apple Podcast account, which I know most of you do even if you're on YouTube, make sure to go over to your smartphone onto your um, Apple account. Type in Rick and Johnny Podcast. It'll come up. You'll see our green logo or our kind of darkish, turquoise-ish logo. Um, And make sure to rate and review the podcast on iTunes. It really helps us. It gets more eyes and ears onto our podcast. Well, for Apple iTunes, it'd be ears Mm -hmm. onto our podcast to hear what we're going like on. Like an so, eyes and or ears. Eyes and or ears. So they got to read it, see which episode they want, and then obviously just listen to it. Oh, there you go. See, the, it. The, the, um, eyes so per, the eyes come back in. And ears. See, but, see, it still fits then. It does. It okay. does indeed. But please go over there and rate and review the podcast on iTunes and Apple Podcasts. And Johnny, let's get into it. Let's talk about this Oscars um, thing that we never usually touch. Not like, usually. This is something where we usually stay into our own bubble where, yeah, there's some movies here that we liked. We kind of branch out of the superhero genre into some horror, um, some other of course we nerd do. stuff, but we usually I mean, if it's, into it. if it's entertaining or if mm-hmm. it's ner- obviously if it's nerdy or if it's like a cult classic mm-hmm. of some sort. <laughs> we go ahead and see it. We try but to. The All the nominees for the Oscars were announced, and the big one that people are talking about is that Black Panther was nominated for... Best Picture, first superhero movie to be nominated for Best Picture. The Dark Knight took home some Oscars for, like, for example, Heath Ledger's performance, and I mm. believe Nolan um, was nominated for that. But it was never, like, Dark Knight was never in the Best Picture nomination. Black Panther is. Yes. So the first thing I want to do before we look at the nominees and see, it, like, could Black Panther actually win? I want to ask you about the nomination. Okay. What was your first thought when you heard Black Panther was nominated for Best Picture? My be- my first thought? Mm-hmm. <laughs> when, I, you and, when I, I think you told me about it, I'm mm-hmm. like, but Infinity Wars was better. Ex- like, And that was something that I didn't know if we were going to just jump right into, oh, but I, I'm we I'm going to jump right into it. I mean, that was my fir- like my first thought was, all right, cool. <laughs> A superhero film is now breaking into Best Picture, but then I started reading some of the comments, and, like, a lot of them were like, but it wasn't even the best superhero movie this year. It was like, Avengers Infinity War was even better than that, and I was like, I was starting to think, I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. It was better than Black Panther was, but Black Panther's being nominated for Best Picture, and Infinity War is not. Yes. I mean, I felt the same way. I should I should have added that first part um, because I was excited that hey, mm-hmm. like black, that's cool. Black Panthers being nominated and like 
John is like, I'm so excited, though, I jumped right into the Infinity War pool. Yeah. I just walked right past that first one. I was like, cannonball. Yeah. Right into it. But, I mean, let me ask you this, then. Why? Why do you think, then, Black Panther got the nod? Because here's the thing, and this goes for even the Oscars in general. Yeah. Um, like, now that Black Panther's in Best Picture, it's not usually the Best Picture that wins Best Picture. It's which group of film can campaign the most. Like, it's yeah. kind of like a presidential election where, like, all right, you've won, you've now won the primary. You're in the election now. Mm-hmm. Like, you've campaigned to this point to be in Best Picture. Now you have to campaign to win it. So, I mean, with that sense, what, like, what are you thinking of why? Because then it would be on Marvel. It's like, if you're campaigning to be in Best Picture then that would mean they chose to campaign for Black Panther and not Infinity War? You know what? And I can think, now that I'm thinking about it more and more, I can see part of the reason why Mm -hmm. is Infinity War, we talked about it before the podcast, is you need a lot of things. You need need to have seen at least a good chunk of this universe Mm -hmm. beforehand, whereas Black Panther, kind of just dive right in and watch it. Mm -hmm. You don't need really a lot to go back and watch. Yeah, and I I mean, mean, you could watch Civil War, and really, that's all you need to. But Black Panther was an origin story. Exactly. So you didn't need all these other movies to mm-hmm. see this. We're Infinity Wars. For the impact that you and I got, mm-hmm. we've been watching this since 2008. Yeah. But I mean, so, even... And this is what I said to you. And maybe this is because I've seen it before. Yeah. But even when like, I saw it on Netflix, and right now I'm at count five. <laughs> like, one in theaters, four on Netflix alone. Yeah. Um, Which is, what, three, six, nine, twelve hours um, that I've spent watching this mm-hmm. um, on repeat. But the second time, so the first time I popped it on Netflix and started watching it, I told you the next time I saw you or next time I talked to you that the thing, the f- thought that I had while re-watching it was, wow, this isn't just a good superhero movie. This is just a good movie in general. And I mean... If we're going to dissect it, for me, the thing that made Infinity War so great, and this is take everything out. Let's say you know nothing. You just know Mm -hmm. about Thanos. The one thing you know about Thanos in that movie is he wants to balance the universe. And you, it it makes you feel for him. Like, you have sympathy for the villain. And I'm trying to think, does Black Panther also do the same with Killmonger? Not as much, really. I mean, not as to some much, degree, but yes. At the end, they do. They do it with the end, and you could sort of feel for them. Like you can, mm-hmm. they show like you could. They give him the like they give you at least the decent reasoning why he's doing it. He was sort mm-hmm. of his dad had the mentality that way. His his dad was left for dead, and so it's like okay, well, I, my dad's left, and he's it's probably the idea of okay, this mm-hmm. wouldn't have, my this wouldn't have happened to my dad if. Like his things have been going his way. Yeah, that they, like it gets him into that mentality. And it's just the I'm trying to think how to describe it. Sort of a I'm not gonna say a Hamlet well, thing for, here, per se. This is off topic from the Oscar thing, yes. but I want to throw it out. I was reading an article um, this week from Screen Rant. Okay, and originally this is from let's see. So on Cinema Blend, they had. Oh, who was it? I got to look up at the name because they do that thing where they like have the full name and then later on they use their um, last name. But I don't see the full name on um, the last name, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Editor Michael um, Shaver. OK, um, they had him on Cinema Blend and he talked about the original ending because apparently Black Panther had a totally different ending. Really? Um, and this is. Let's see the quote. Let's see if it. Yeah, I'll read both of them. So the first one is, with reshoots, Ryan wanted to do a new ending, and it's a whole bigger thing with the scene where Killmonger dies. Um, Where we shot originally and in the script was Killmonger saying, it's beautiful, but what are you going to do for everyone in the world who can't see this? And it was great. It was powerful. It was awesome. But it was problematic for a few reasons. One, we realized that just as a character for the journey of T'Challa, he can't get the answer to the movie and what he needs to do from the villain. Like straight up exactly 
what he needs to do. And that's kind of what was happening. Secondly, it was a great performance by Michael B. Jordan, and Michael B. Jordan brought it, and it was painful to watch because you kind of don't want this guy to die, but it didn't, but it didn't fit his character. Um, and then he goes on to say, um, Ryan went off to his lab and did his brilliant work that he does as a writer um, and wrote the final scene in Oakland where he goes with Shuri and shows the Royal Talon fighter um, to those kids and specifically a kid that kind of looks like young Killmonger, basically him showing them that and buying those buildings and the Wakanda Reach program was in the spirit what originally he had Killmonger tell him. If people can just see this, if people can see their own potential, then things would be different. And so that was done in a new scene where we see what T'Challa has done. And then at the very, very, very end, the last line is that kid looking at him saying, who are you? And that is the theme of the movie, of identity. Who are you? And he doesn't need to answer it because he just answered it for us. Mm-hmm. And like I read that and I was like, wow, kind of like, like there's that, like the ending to that is so like Black Panther, I will say this, was a good movie. Oh, like, yeah, definitely. By asking this question, having this conversation, it was a good movie. I remember walking out of it and being like, it, well, like, I remember I was like, wow, yeah, Dave's like, oh, my God, what'd you think? And I was like, it was a pretty good movie. And he goes, pretty good? It was just pretty good? It was amazing. Like, Dave was, like, up here. I felt like me and you were more yeah. down here with it. I mean, I mean, I had that general uh, superhero movie pump. but Yeah, but it wasn't, like, anything above that. It wasn't anything no. extra. And, like, reading this, I was like, holy shit, like, thinking about that ending a little bit and actually about like the movie of black Panther of he's right. It's a movie about identity. Who is black Panther? Mm-hmm. Cause it's funny that they did that because most of the people walking into that movie were probably like, who is black Panther? Yeah. And we all got to learn that. And even T'Challa got to learn who he really is. No. Um, I, I just noticed I've been talking for a long time. Yeah. I'm going to let you kind of take it. No, I, I, I can't. Like, I can't Johnny make just any... gives me that look like, is it my turn now? My turn? <laughs> Mine? Do I get to go yet? <laughs> you can say something? Uh, no, I mean, I can't actually make any arguments because mm-hmm. you and I were in the same boat yeah. with the movie. It was a great it was a great movie. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like running out there, oh my God, that was the best thing ever. No, I mean, but it was a really good movie. I'm mm-hmm. not like downplaying that I'm not excited for Black Panther to have been nominated. And to a degree, I get why Marvel campaigned mm-hmm. for it, because more people will be familiar and able to dive into Black Panther than Infinity Wars. But again, mm-hmm. like, I do think like that was a better movie. And now I am gonna throw this out. Yeah, there. and I'm not throwing this out there as like a troll commenter. I'm throwing it out there to add to the conversation. Yeah. Is there are a subsection of people out there mm-hmm. that believe that, like you and I, where it was like when Black Panther came out, yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Is it like, did this movie and could be a reason why if Marvel chose, which we don't really know, yeah, um, but if Disney Marvel chose to campaign this one more so than Infinity War, is it because of the cultural impact? That I've, this movie had where the thing that I noticed was just by like people that I was around at the time and had interacted with was for the longest time. And I will never be in this boat. So I'm not like talking as someone that's like, yeah, I know what it's like because I never will. Like I looked at as a kid, mostly any superhero and could see myself in that hero, mm-hmm. like could see 100 percent myself because of skin color this is the first one that although like want to say african-american but i can't even say that because t'challa is not african. american he's so african, african so. um hero that is on this kind of a screen on this kind of a um pedestal because like yeah i know that like the cw did black lightning but like CW TV show is not on the same pedestal as, as a Marvel a cinematic Marvel movie. MCU kind of a movie. And I, I just wonder if in my head, 
did that have anything to play into it? I feel like it has a decent amount of play into it because it is a cultural impact. Mm-hmm. Is their first hugely successful black uh, black African and African American? I mean, it hits all the cult, hits the whole culture, mm-hmm. African and African American. Um, it, it hits the whole culture. Um, where was I going with that? It made the huge impact of this is our first hugely successful movie. Well, with and, this. And that's the thing. I like that you said that. Yeah. It wasn't just, hey, this is the first of that. It was a good movie. It's a like, hugely it was a Because oh there were God, like other was... ones and some of them were more like jokey ones. Mm-hmm. Like I think Blank Man. Yeah. For example. Yeah. But... but I mean, this was one that was, you could see it was taken seriously and was actually a well-written movie. Yeah. Um, And that, like, that's a thought that kind of popped into my head. But like, I think that I'm not saying that. I just want to make this clear, and I think I speak for both of us with this. We're not saying Black Panther does not deserve to be nominated. No, not at all. It was a really good movie. We're just having the conversation of why it might have been nominated. Because another big thing, and I don't want to jump down this rabbit hole, but I'll just say it, is there's also a subsection on the internet that's like, well, how does Black Panther get nominated for Best Picture, but The Dark Knight wasn't nominated for Best Picture, which... Now, that one I can get behind because The Dark Knight, after I watched, there was one night after I watched Infinity War on my little suggested thing, Uh it was Dark Knight. I was like, hell yeah, I'm watching that. And then I watched The Dark Knight. It's like, and rewatching that, I'm like, man, this is a a good movie also. I mean, Heath Ledger and his performance in that movie, oh, made it. It didn't make it what it is, but like without that, it would have been... No, I'm pretty sure the movie was a, that was a big part of what made mm-hmm. that movie what it is. Like in just his acting as the Joker, but and that blows my mind that that was that movie was never nominated for best picture. Yeah. Last thing I want to ask you is the actual thing of what we titled this about. Yes. Looking at the other nominations, we've got Black Klansman, we've got Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, Roma, A Star Is Born, and Vice. I'm not asking you what you would pick because I know both of us would probably pick Black Panther. Or, like me, I might lean into a Bohemian Rhapsody because of what that movie also, hugely successful movie. Yeah. I want to ask you, with the campaigning that's now going to start for Black Panther, Mm -hmm. when we get to the Oscars, could we actually hear at the very end of the show, and the award for Best Picture goes to... Black Panther. Could that actually happen when we get to the Oscars? I'm not going to say it can't, but like I I honestly have only seen one of one other of these movies. Mm-hmm. I've seen mul- tons of previews and multiple times seen the previews mm-hmm. for A Star is Born and Green Book, which both are like really good movies, just not in my wheelhouse of mm-hmm. the type of movie. Like I'll, I'll, I'll go, if at some point maybe I'll watch it on Netflix or if yeah. it's on TV, I'll watch it. Even Black Klansman looked really good. Mm-hmm. And again, it's one of those ones where I, you really don't want to go out and see it because mm-hmm. obviously movies cost what thirteen dollars a pop minimum. Yeah. So it's like, do I? Won't, you gotta be selective what movies you want to see. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did see Bohemian Rhapsody, and to be honest, I left the theater liking like the feeling was. I liked that movie more mm-hmm. than Black Panther to an extent. Like, yes, I really like Black Panther. Was, like, I love superhero movies. But, like, the feeling I got after watching Bohemian Rhapsody was a little bit more excitable. It was mm-hmm. a, the emotions were a lot different and higher in their own realm than I did with Black Panther. Because, mm-hmm. like I said, I had that when I went left Black Panther, it was awesome. It was it was great. I had that superhero pump. I thought it was a good movie. But Bohemian Rhapsody and spoilers, like, you got to see the lie, like, a re- reactment of the Live Aid concert mm-hmm. and chills. You know, it's another thing that I just forgot. Huh. And yes, this is in animated feature film for best animated film. Okay. Comments that I also saw were that, yeah, but Into the Spider-Verse was better. And I, let's be honest, leaving Into the Spider-Verse, I was like, holy Crap, yeah, you that was were. an amazing movie. Yeah, that's true. Like even Dave was, and that was just a soundtrack and a um, visual experience. Yeah, it was, that's and a well written story. Like even that one, like I, you kind of forget about it because it was animated. 
I'll be completely honest. I don't think it's winning. I, I don't do th- not. No. Um, and the reason why I say that is if I had to put my money on it, my final three, mm-hmm. um, and this is something that me and you will talk about, um, but let's see. The Oscars are on February 24th. Maybe the week before that, we kind of go through, like, we pick some of the categories um, and, like, give predictions of who we think yeah. um, will win. But, like, for me, my final, my top three for who I think would win would either be Bohemian Rhapsody, Vice, and A Star is Born. I think unless there's, like, some right out of left field thing happening, I think A Star is Born is going to take the Oscar. I just think, like, yeah. everything I heard with the media and uh, like, yeah, promotion everything. when that came out, like, Bradley, like, Lady Gaga's performance in this, Bradley yeah, Cooper's yeah, everything debut after. as a director, and, like, everything with that, like, the... Also, conversations, this is for a later date, that got me into that mindset of maybe we'll predict our winners. I'm excited about the actors in a leading role race. You've got Christian Bale as Dick Cheney, Bradley Cooper in A Star is Born, William Defoe in uh, At Eternity's Gate. You've got, and I'm going to screw up this name, uh, Rami Melek. Uh, he played, um, oh, I'm blanking on his name, Queen. Um, Freddie Mercury. In oh. Bohemian Rhapsody, and then Viggo Mortz- Mortensen from the Green Book. Like, I see most of those, and I would love for I'm not going to screw up his name, so I'm going to say the guy who played Freddie Mercury no, there you to go. win it. Yeah. Um, oh but, my God. Have you? Did you see that one or no? I, I have not. My mom said she bought it on Comcast, so I do have it. So I might give it a watch because oh I don't my God. have to buy it. Um, but even like actors in a supporting role, you've got. Ali, who's going to be an elite of Battle Angel, but he was in the Green Book. Adam D- Driver for Black Klansman. Sam Elliott in A Star is Born. Um, Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me? And then Sam Rockwell for, for Vice. Like, there are some huge names in these. And I kind of feel like, at for most of these, mm-hmm. I feel like it's going to be a battle between Vice and A Star is Born. Yeah, no. Um, for most of these actors and actresses. The amount of hype and everything after A Star is Born mm-hmm. came out that I heard, I feel like it's going to get well, Every single time few. I listened to the radio was like, something about A Star is Born. Is a star is for born. like two weeks afterwards. Uh-huh. And it was just like, I just feel like that's going to be the one to take it home. Any final thoughts before we move on into Star Um No, I mean, like I said, I, as much as I would like to see Black Panther win it, I Again, mm-hmm. what it's up against, I don't see that's yeah. go- that happening. I I would love to be proven wrong. Yes. Prove me wrong. Please. Make Black Panther the best picture, but I just don't see it happening. I would put my vote right now as a Star is Born. Star is Born, the Bohemian Oscars. Rhapsody, and I, I couldn't say for the la- other ones because I haven't seen it. Yeah, them, so. I would say Vice would probably be in the Th- running for yeah. that too. Um, but let us know what you guys think down below in the comment section. About Black Panther being nominated, could it actually win the Oscars? What do you think with any of the other nominations for the Oscars? Let us know what you think down below in the comment section.